Hi, I'm Aubrey from Aubrey Originals. Today I'm going to teach you how to make gnome Easter eggs because gnomes just make everything better. Real quick before we get started, don't forget to like this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY tutorials. For this project, you will need plastic Easter eggs. I found these craft eggs on sale at Michael's and you can use white or colored. Felt for the hat, I prefer the thicker or stiff felt. Fur for the beard. Various trim and other decorations you wanna use for the hat. Something for a nose, I found these 3 eighths of an inch furniture buttons at Hobby Lobby in the wood section and they are perfect some scissors, and a hot glue gun. You'll want a glue gun with a fine detail tip and good control. I'm using this glue gun by Sherbonder and I love it. Start by cutting out your gnome's hat from felt. You can either print out the template in the blog post or if you have a Cricut, you can use my template in Cricut Design Space. Here, I've loaded my rotary blade into my Cricut Maker and mounted my felt onto a fabric grip mat that's actually covered with a sheet of transfer paper sticky side up, which is an amazing Cricut hack to protect your mat when you're working with felt. Set your base material and design space to the type of felt you're cutting, and then press go. Once your hat is cut out, fold it to form a cone shape and carefully hot glue it a little bit at a time. My glue gun is a high temperature glue gun, but the glue seems to dry and cool fairly quickly, which is nice. If yours doesn't, be very careful not to burn yourself. As you're gluing, try to keep the base of the hat lined up straight. Press the felt together until it stays, but make sure you're not accidentally gluing the back of the hat to the front of the hat, because hot glue tends to seep out sometimes. If it does, just separate it before the glue dries completely. When you get to the tip of the hat, I've found it slightly easier if you apply the glue to the outer flap. But either way, it's still kind of tricky, so you may just have to play with it a bit. If you mess up, you can let the hot glue dry and use scissors to carefully cut it off the felt and then try gluing it again. When you're done, if you have any hot glue spillage, again, let it dry and then cut it off with scissors. Next, we're going to cut a beard from fur. You might be able to find pre-cut fur at your craft store near the felt or Chanel stems, but it's actually a lot cheaper to buy it by the yard. I bought a fourth of a yard of this white fur from Hobby Lobby for just a few dollars and it will last me for many more projects. Roughly measure the width of your egg to see how wide to cut the beard. I cut mine about one and a half inches wide. If you've never cut fur before, you're actually going to cut it from the back, only cutting the rough backing part and not the actual fur hairs. This keeps your fur intact and reduces mess, though you'll probably still end up with fur on your craft table and clothes. Just one more reason why I keep a lint roller in my craft room. You can cut your beard as short or as long as you want. I've found that about between one and one and a half inches high is good. Once your beard is cut out, clean up the edges by pulling away any stray hairs. And feel free to trim the bottom of your beard to shape it, kind of like your hairstylist might trim your split ends. Before gluing the beard to your egg, check to see if your egg has seams, if you're using a plastic craft egg. This isn't super important because we're pretty much covering up the egg, but I just like to keep those seams on either side of the gnome's head. Apply a strip of hot glue to the top of the beard and press it to the front of the egg. Make sure you're placing the beard high enough that the hat will be able to overlap it slightly for a clean look. You can see here that the beard is actually quite high on the egg. and I probably could have done it even a little higher. 
Add another strip of glue to the bottom of the beard now that we have our placement correct on the egg. Apply a line of glue around the inside of the hat, working quickly before the glue dries. Place the hat on the egg, overlapping the beard, and then also check that the hat is straight up and down on the egg, which I totally forgot to do and my hat was a little crooked on this one. If you use non-stiff felt for the hat, you will want to stuff your hat with some polyfill stuffing before gluing it to the egg so that it stands up and doesn't collapse. Next, glue on any trim or decorations you want to add to the hat. If you're using trim, start from the back of the hat so your seam is hidden. Later, when I asked my husband, he said this gnome looked a little plain compared to my other ones, so I ended up adding some felt polka dots, which you'll see in the pictures but feel free to add flowers, buttons, sequins, or anything else you want. Finally, glue on your nose just under the hat and center it in the middle of the beard. And you're done. Your gnome is officially a member of your Easter family. I don't know what an Easter family is, but I think it should have gnomes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching.